Howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here. It's one of those days already. Continues to be weird. Um, need to have some more coffee. Grab your coffee. I need coffee. Come on, guy. Extra strong cup this morning. Almost afternoon. And yes, I know I look really tired because I am. Um, it is February 19th, High Noodle, 2016, um, uh, Friday morning, almost afternoon, it's 11.53 a.m. Um, weather-wise, it's 42 degrees out, but real fill is, t is 29, the high will be 51, the low will be 35. Um, yesterday the wind, and it's still really bad today, we still have a high wind warning. Yesterday, it was so bad, they ended up closing Outer Drive. Um, they got uh, uh, wind gusts over 90 miles an hour, which was a Category 1 tornado they, that equals that. We didn't get a tornado. Um, and um, out by the airport and stuff with some of my friends live, a neighbor of my friend, their uh, roof, got completely tore off the top of their house where, you know, they could not even stay in the house and uh, stuff. So there's a lot of property damage going on. Um, it's just, it's horrible. It is horrible right now, the wind and stuff. But then the good part is most of the snow is melted. We were supposed to get a lot of rain yesterday for this area. We got just a little bit. But it was nice that it rained. I love when it rains because it freshens everything, you know, renews everything. But I will not miss the high, high winds that we get here. Um, things have just been crazy, guys. Um, uh, I'm going to do some venting and ranting on this, this blog. So if you really hate that, I, you know, then maybe you don't want to watch parts of this. Um, but I have to get this off my chest because it wouldn't do me any good to talk to the family members involved because I tried that years ago and it, you just get nowhere, but it just, you know, you know, makes things worse. But you guys are who I have to vent to. So I hope you'll listen with an open mind and not judge me for the way I feel because unless you've been there and witnessed it personally, some of it you may think, wow, you know, but... I have to do a little bit of venting. Um, yesterday was weird. Like I said, the moment I got up, um, uh, I got up and, you know, checking to see how my husband was doing and everything. And we hadn't slept well the night before, especially him. Um, and he did was off yesterday. He is back at work today, and I'll go into that later. Um, <coughs> but... Um, so, got dressed and everything, did my daily vlog, because we had errands we were going to go run, you know, I had to go do some shipping, wanted to get him out of the house for a little bit, you know, a little bit of fresh air, um, and then I couldn't upload it, and on YouTube, it was an icon that was a triangle with an explanation point, and it kept saying that I needed to check my, my, uh, my, uh, Internet connection. Well, I checked my Gmail. There was no notification or anything. Um, and so we went ahead and we ran our errands. Like I said, I need to go do some stuff. And um, came back, still no dice. So I thought, okay, I'll do a quick vlog on my phone. And then I'll, I'll maybe it's the Internet connection because it, that's what it kept coming up as. And the wind was so bad. No dice. Well, in the middle of, of checking, and I st we're starting to check internet connections and stuff, I do get a notification from Gmail telling me that there's been a security breach with my um, account. And see, that's why I hate that this is all linked together. So, finally, we go through, they verify by phone and stuff that I am who I am, we set the password and stuff. In the meantime, my blog, my written blog, they say was turned in for pushing 
And it's been, the whole blog has been deleted. They found I was in violation of their terms of service. And it's like I looked it up and I was not trying to sell anything or, or getting monetary gain. I had two entries talking about moving and how, how I was feeling about that. So I don't know if that was just, you know, the thing they gave me and it, in the midst of all of this that got deleted because there never was a problem with my internet. It was security breach. Somebody had tried to hack into my, my, uh, uh, account, you know, my G Plus account, so who knows, but, so, I'll just do a blog later on, when things come down a little bit anyway, on, I'll probably go through Live Journal or something, I know Nancy today uses that, I'll probably just go that route, um, like I said, there was only two little entries in there anyway, so, whatever, um, so yeah, we, I, um, had some eBay auctions that had gone off and sold, and uh, so we, I printed up the shipping on that. We did finally get that fixed. See, we had two PayPal accounts. We had one PayPal account, and it used to be, and somehow it got switched where my husband's name was on there as the primary, but it needed to be mine, but it was my social security account, and we, and we tried to get this all straightened out with them, and they said it would just be better if you opened up another PayPal account. Now, my friend uh, Mary uh, remembers this. Um, uh, and so we had to do that, but then you have to wait, like, I think it, you have to have three months of being being there before um, uh, and um, have sold $150 worth of stuff. Um, and until then, they hold each payment, like, for three weeks. Well, it's finally been long enough and gotten that my new PayPal account established and stuff. So, um, but the billing agreement for eBay for the shipping was through the old PayPal account. And none of the money was coming to that. Well, that's what was causing some overdraft fees in our, in our savings account. So, I needed to have my husband call and shut that one down. Now, this is what gets me. At number one, you can set up a PayPal account so easy, never need to talk to them. We, had, we were on hold for a good half hour yesterday with different people. I had to talk to three different people before they would shut down that PayPal account. And it's like, we have another one. We're not using this one. This one is interfering because until we had that one shut down, I couldn't get, and I couldn't find a link on eBay at all on how to change that billing agreement to the other PayPal account, or on PayPal either. So, I had to, um, you know, that had to be shut down, and once it was, then I was able to finally, you know, print the shipping labels and have it taken out of the right PayPal account. What a mess, but finally got that taken care of, we dropped off the shipping, and, um, we got my husband that dandruff shampoo and took back the crack container. And then we stopped at Little Caesars and just got a, a pizza. Because, you know, that's, that's what he likes. And he wanted a little bit of comfort food. I can understand that. Um, and then we just came home. Um, then we decided we were going to lay down after a little bit. Well, first, UPS showed up with that tent, that Coleman uh, I think it's Weather Master Six Person Tent, <coughs> which I was glad because my husband was home and it's heavy. So, um, and then we went to lay down and to take naps. We lay down for a while and I got up oh, for something. And I asked my husband if he slept and he said no. And I could tell he was upset. I can tell by the way he does dishes if he's upset, if he's if he's kind of clanking them around more, I can tell, you know. And so he was out there doing dishes. And um, the funeral home, okay, get this guy. The funeral home called my husband and left a message that he needed to call them back. 
Now, like I said, his sister lives a half a block away. Um, he's got two sisters here in town and his mother. None of them could call and, and let him know. I guess they, the two sisters, and there's another sister that lives in Minnesota. The two sisters and, and his mother went to the funeral home to start, start setting up things. No, number one, they could have called my husband. He would have gone down with him. Um, or they could have called during, you know, making the arrangements, and he could have, you know, uh, come down. Or they could have called him right after. But no, they will. They had the funeral home call my husband. And when my husband finally... Uh, were they able to get a hold of, of the gentleman? He said, well, have you talked to your family at all? And I was just like, no, nope. <laughs> you know, nobody said a word to me. But what they need, they need to have him go down and sign paperwork to have his father cremated. It had to be uh, three out of four living children. Um, had to have signatures on that. Um, you see, his mom and dad were divorced before we ever met. Um, and, uh, also he had to have Brad's signature and some other information because there was a life insurance policy that they're using, of course, you know, uh, a portion of that for the, um, uh, fees, you know, for the cost of having him cremated and stuff. Um, but Brad was very hurt by that and I was livid. I mean, his mother came in Tuesday to my husband's uh, place of work, a dealer, car dealership. And she does this all the time, and he's asked her many times, and I've asked her to please not show up at his place of business. He's trying to work. I don't show up at his place of business, even though a few times he's asked me to, and I'm like, no, you're working. I'm not going to do that. Um, and... He was working with a customer. She showed up Tuesday and sat down with him and his customer to visit, to try to guilt him into stuff. Who does this? She could call him. She could see him, set up something to see him after work hours. You know, she could ask him to stop by her house. I mean, there's no reason for this. She could email. I mean, but if it's something that puts on a big show, she will do it. But something like this yesterday with with making funeral arrangements, there was no audience. So we're not even going to call him. They haven't let him know anything. And, I mean, it's such a mess. I mean, you know, and... It's just such a mess, and, you know, he's so hurt and everything that just... But, yeah, so he had to go down this morning to the funeral home. He went to work. He had to go down there, I think, 9.30, and sign paperwork and give identification and stuff. They need Social Security and driver's license and stuff for the life insurance policy. And, and we guess that next week, the end of next week, they're going to have the memorial services with full military honors. Um, I mean, nobody has consulted us or anything, so I don't know what's going on. And there's some talk of, you know, needing to get his apartment cleared out and get a storage unit cleared out because, you know, first of the month is coming. and But, of course, none of the family tells him this, he had to find out from our daughter, who is close with the family, and I just stay out of all of it, because um, I'm not going to let them use my daughter to, to, to fight about anything, um, I'm just there for my husband, that's all I can do, and like I said, I just have to not say a word, and I just, I was getting so angry yesterday about what was going on, and I thought, First, I thought, what would my good friend Dina do? Because 
she has really got some wisdom with her on how to handle some difficult things. And I thought, okay, well, Dina would tell you to calm down and not, not you know, speak uh, out loud about it. And I thought about what Dina's late mother, who died, you know, many years ago, but, you know, she lives on through Dina. What she, how she would have handled it and stuff, and then I started, I did look up a few scriptures, and then I thought, okay, I'm just going to, I'm not going to say a word, you know, when we do see the family, like at the services and stuff, because I did tell my husband I would go with him, because he really wants me to uh, maybe go with him. It depends on what time it is and stuff panning out. Um, and I won't say a word to any of the family. And I'm just going to keep thinking in my mind, God forgive you. Because there is nothing that we have ever done to warrant this. When when I met Brad, his father just had open heart surgery. And none of the family was around. And we helped take care of him. Uh, through the years, we helped um, uh, with numerous times when he was sick. And when he was unemployed and didn't have any money, we would take groceries and we could ill afford them at that point in time over there and, and load up his freezer in his cupboard just to surprise him, you know. Um, but I'm just going to keep chanting that God forgive them because, you know, and that's no, no reason, no way to um, treat somebody. Um, and I'm going to apologize right now. This is going to be a long vlog, I can tell. So, you know, you might want to watch it in parts and then go, you know, you know, go to your child's graduation and then watch another part and go to your child's wedding and, you know, and watch another part and then go watch your first grandchild be born. I'm sorry. Um, so then after all the fiasco with the funeral home and getting my husband somewhat calmed down, you know, make sure he was okay. We just did decide to move that big desk out of this front room. Um, we did put it in the um, uh, garage because um, I promised my one grandson he could have that. Um, I don't know if he still wants it or not. Uh, it was, and it, it made a lot more room in this um, uh, front room. And um, my husband did bring in some boxes for me uh, so I could start packing some stuff. And um, uh, let me see. Um, last night he did call his brother. and uh, His brother called the night before. And that is the only sibling he is close with, really. Um, and uh, uh, his brother lives in Phoenix. You know, he called his brother, and I didn't want, I wanted my husband to really be able to freely talk with him and not feel like it was a conversation that I was in on either. Like, so could tell he really needed to vent, and even though it's good for him to vent to me, sometimes it's good to vent to somebody else that's not, you know, right there. Um, so I put my headphones on, and I watched YouTube videos, and let him have his time with his brother. And it was a really good talk. He, his brother was fabulous um his brother really listened to what brad had to say and let brad vent and, and explain things and his brother uh and then we his brother brad was explaining to talking to him about why we want to move and this was part of the reason with this big family dysfunction on both sides of our family his brother jumped totally on board and said you guys need to do this you guys need to get out of there and have a fresh start and stuff, you know, because, I mean, <clears throat> his family has even spread so many rumors about us throughout all of our community and stuff. His mother is very vindictive, though she acts very sweet and innocent to people, but she's very vindictive. And I used to love this woman like she was my own mother. But it's sad to see the way she is, but, you know, God forgive her and God help her. Um, so, uh, he had a really nice long talk with his brother. I don't know all what they talked about 
but it really helped Brad. And, you know, I thank God for his brother because you, everybody needs somebody that they can feel close to, that they can vent to, that will just listen and, and not judge and, and, and stuff. I have that with my friend Dina. Um, you know, that we, we can call and talk and vent to each other and, you know, she'll make me feel so much better. And Brad has his brother. Um, so, and then I did work on my show. You'll see it is almost done. This thing is so long. But it is almost done. I will finish it up sometime today, of course. Um, I could have finished up last night, but I wanted some time just to sit play some Facebook games, um, you know, uh, just a few of the bingo games I really like, I love bingo, um, so, uh, I'll finish that up today and fringe it out, I'm gonna put some long fringes on it, I'm thinking I'm probably just gonna leave it as a shawl, but I really wanna get back to making some hats, I really miss it, um, Brad did go to work, like I said, uh, he said that, you know, he has some customers, texting him and he needed to take care of something and I think you know I think he felt it was best for him to get back to work and um uh you know he wanted to he didn't want to lose too much income because still trying to make a little bit of money uh for us to move with um because we have nothing saved right now we don't have anything but anyway it'll all work out in time um it is what it is so, uh, and like I said, he went down to the funeral home. Um, I have to clean house today because I have not gotten this house cleaned all week now. And I mean, it's not horrible, horrible, but it needs to be dusted. I need to, we still have some boxes of stuff sitting around the front room that I need to take into the art studio. And, and I need to pull out the things that did not sell that now we're donating. Um, and... And, you know, kind of compress down the different boxes and stuff in there. Make a little bit more room in the front room. Um, and uh, organize. I need to dust, vacuum, sweep, and mop. Um, clean the bathroom, of course. Face the shawl. Um, and then, I'm being so good, you guys. <laughs> it's not too often that I really want something. And it really just kind of bugs me but my friend Dina showed me it was so nice to make a video showing how she makes a pom pom um and I don't know if I'm doing it wrong I'm thinking maybe I am with the pom pom makers I have watching her make hers I, I guess I'm supposed to take the, the pom pom makers and maybe make two pom poms and then tie them together or something um, maybe that's why mine are not, you know, like hers. But I really want some of those clover pom-pom makers. And there's a set of four of them. I don't want the extra small ones. But I'd like to have, like, the small, medium, large. And I think there's an extra large. But especially the small and the medium. Uh, it comes, like, a pink and a yellow one. Uh... And I found them on eBay at the best price. Um, but I just don't have the twenty dollars to spare right now. Uh, and that was for that was for all six times. But um, I'm just gonna have to wait. You know. But yeah, I really want to get some of those pom pom makers. Um, I need to get back into into uh, making more hats and stuff because that makes me happy. And with all the stress going on lately. You know, I need to, I need to de-stress as much as possible. Um, uh, but that's about it. Um, like I said, it's really sad to see this happen with family and stuff. Um, you know, we, like I said, we used to be the one that had all the family dinners over at our, wherever we lived. And... Each one of his sisters, especially the two that live here, you know, we've had so many good times with. I don't understand why they won't ever just talk with Brad. But, you know, they act like he doesn't exist. And, I mean, 
We've never done anything to them, but, you know, like I said, God forgive them. Because they sure have hurt their brother beyond, I think, repair. Um, you know, eh, you know, we will be much happier living in a new area where we aren't judged. Because here, anywhere you go, people are like, are you related to? And it's like, I've gotten quite wide to say no. No, I'm not. Because most people aren't going to argue with you then. If they have to ask if you're related, they're not certain. And if you say no, they're not going to, you know, they're not going to go to that person and go, oh, yeah, well, you know, you know, I talked with your daughter-in-law or, or I talked with your sister-in-law and then be told a bunch of stuff. Because I don't know how many times I have been making a great friendship with somebody and then they realize I'm related to one of these family members and then it's like, oh. And it's like, okay. Anyway, I'm doing okay, guys. Um, like I said, be gentle. I'm just venting because I'm not going to vent to them. I have to just be the supportive wife and uh, keep it zipped. And just keep thinking in my head, God forgive them. God forgive them. Because they have to answer to him up there for the stuff they're doing. So, you know. And uh, that's all I can do. All, all I can do. Um, and then just vent to you guys. So, anyway, I hope everybody's doing great. Um, and uh, do you have any cool plans for the weekend? If you do, share, share, share. And, I, again, I want to uh, say thank you to everybody that's been so supportive and so kind and stuff. Um, life goes on, and we will rise above this. And we're going to have a, a, a brighter, better future with a new beginning. Um, and, uh, you know, one more thing I have to say that does really bother me, though, with this whole family dynamic, is my granddaughter has to listen to them talk so these family members talk so badly about us, and it really hurts her because she loves us dearly. If her to have to hear them talking so badly about us, it's just, you know. But all I can do is just keep telling her I love her and just to ignore them and stuff. So, sad thing. Family dynamics. You know. Whatever. Anyway, love you guys. And I hope you're having a great day. Remember, I cherish your friendship. And I think you guys are awesome. Just the way you are. You know, mistakes, boo-boos, everything. I, you know, I love you guys. You know, because you have good hearts. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.